Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Coming at you with a recap video. Sorry I did not get a video up yesterday. Um, had some internet issues. And uh, when I was trying to upload the video, it uh, YouTube wasn't working. Uh, other things were working later in the day, but uh, YouTube just wouldn't work. So that's why there wasn't a video yesterday. But uh, hey, more mail today. Kind of probably going to be a pretty long video. have several things to cover. Um... First off here, I have a uh, giveaway win. Uh, this is coming back from StarTiger.com, which is where I get a lot of my addresses from. Um, definitely go check their link out below, guys. They're a great website. This is not sponsored or anything. Just giving them a good shout out. Um, it is $4.99 a month, but well worth it. And uh, so I won an uh, autographed photo from Andy Sakome. Uh, he is the voice of Watto in Star Wars. Well, that's pretty cool and it's also authenticated too so very sweet to get that back came all the way from Germany then had a uh, just a just because package from uh, Wesker Griff his link will be right down below uh, he sent a whole bunch of Colorado Rockies and other things in here that are really cool um, so thanks so much Ed he's got a great channel guys collects just a little bit of everything does TTMs, does um, sports cards, does uh, Game of Thrones, does comic related, uh, all kinds of stuff. So I think you find his channel well, well worth it. If you're not somehow subscribed to him, even though he's been around for years, um, definitely go give him a shot. So his link is down below, guys. Go check him out. He'd be well worth it. Definitely one of the my inspirations for getting into TTMs way back. So uh, well, more than three years ago. So I've been watching him for a long time. So first off, he sent it Andres Galarraga, Eric Young Sr., got a Topps Heritage Rockies team card, got a Chrome Refractor Joe Maurer, that guy's pretty awesome, I used to have a rookie card of him that I pulled out of a pack, and I sold it, <laughs> I wish I would have kept it, Dante Bichette, he was a Bowman, like from 2004 I think. Uh, Tony Walters rookie. I don't think I have one of him yet. Uh, this is really cool. Um, he's pretty decent for the Denver Nuggets. Um, they fizzled out towards the end and didn't make the playoffs, but uh, this guy's pretty good. Number the 199, Joseph Nurkic autograph. That might be his rookie card or second year. He's a pretty solid player for us. Kevin Brooks, uh, one of the top winning coaches in men's college basketball uh, Jonathan Gray I believe that's the rookie uh, Matt Car City don't know how he's doing but the Rockies they've been doing really awesome uh, I think this might be the year they make the playoffs finally they, they got a team man they got the pitching to do it and the offense is just amazing uh, Jeff Baker from the UD documentary those are cool cards this is a really nice Nolan Arenado number the 99 uh, 2016 Tops Tribute? I, I don't know what this is from. It's like Emerald. That's really cool. I do not have that Nolan Arenado. I got another Nolan Ar Arenado, if I can speak, number to 150 from Bowman's Best, 2015. Nolan Arenado. Oh, wow. Here, I'll show this one real quick. I got Fu Ni. I believe he was on the Tigers from the 09 World Baseball Classic. Those those cards are cool. Got a rookie jersey, or not rookie, uh, autograph jersey card, number to 75. From 2016, Tops. I guess it's Tribute 2 or something. I, I'm not familiar with this product. DJ LeMahieu, one of the best uh, second basemen in the league right now. Um, he can hit. He can feel. Wow. Thanks so much, Ed. I did not expect that, man. I'll have to hit you back with something. For sure. So, wow. I'll put that right by Eric Young Jr. How about that? It's worth showing off. So, thanks so much, Ed, guys. Again, go give him a give him a sub. Go check him out. So, the TTMs. This is a mixture of Thursday and Friday. 
Um, we're going to try my best to try to remember who came on what day. Um, I'm still getting caught up in reporting all my old successes from last week, so bear with me. Um, this is from Thursday, Bill Sander. Looks like he's trying to line up the putt there, or he may have just putted the ball. Um, got a Hubert Green. This is from like 1975. One is either the Ryder Cup or something like that. I can't quite remember right at the top of my head. I uh, got Pat Bork. Thursday, yeah. Uh, 74 tops. Frank LaCourt on a 4 for 6 photo. I thought that 82 tops card looked nice. Uh, I don't know if I had that in my collection or not. Uh, Randy Elliott did not have that 78 tops, so I decided to go with the photo. It's almost the same thing as getting 78 tops, I guess. Uh, Danny Murphy, not the former Marlin second baseman. Uh, this came today. Former catcher of the Milwaukee Brewers for quite a while, Tim McIntosh. Signed 93 tops. Got three cards signed by former California Angel and Florida Marlin. And uh, he was a pretty decent closer back then. Uh, Brian Harvey. Or closer slash starter, I think. I think he did a little bit of both. He may have began as a starter and then switched to the bullpen. Uh, 93 SP. Inaugural year of the Marlins. And 95 Pinnacle, which I thought was cool. He played to about 97, I think. So he played about 10 or 11 years. Um, this is from Thursday. Got Dwayne Washington, a longtime cornerback for multiple teams. Uh, I don't think he was a starter. I think he was maybe third or fourth string. So those are the Vikings. This is the Steelers. He might have been a starter at at one point for some teams, but I don't remember him being a starter. Um, pretty decent running back in the 80s for the Steelers, like the early mid 80s. Uh, Walter Abercrombie and this nice action shot, and then Sports Illustrated cover photo of Walter Abercrombie. Uh, this came today. This has been out since October. Former offensive lineman of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A uh, very underrated player, he made quite a few Pro Bowls, and probably could have made even more, um, just because he's playing for the Buccaneers at the time that weren't that great, uh, but he was one of the best um, from those years. Uh, Steve Wilson, he was very good. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if this is really his autograph or what, but it just looks like a a ribbon, <laughs> like a bow. Not <laughs> Jim Smith. That's the signature, I guess. I thought it looked different, but maybe it doesn't. Um, he was a pretty decent wide receiver for the Steelers as well in the 70s and 80s. Um, I think that's his autograph. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. I've um, got the other Jim Jensen. Not the Dolphins, but the former Broncos running back slash fullback, Jim Jensen. He also wrote a note. Said, great to hear from you, Caleb. Good luck with your collection, Jim Jensen, 1977 to 1980 Denver Broncos. So, pretty nice to hear from him. Um, this is really cool. I've been I tried to get him once before. Got an RTS. Um, he seems to be signing from his home. Uh, this guy better get in the Hall of Fame because I mean I know he didn't have like as long as career as maybe he could have, but he was just an explosive running back. Um, I think he had over 100 touchdowns, if not close to that, in his career. Uh, for the Seattle Seahawks, Sean Alexander with uh, Psalms 37-4 inscription. And this shot with Matt Hasselback, which would be awesome to get him to sign it, but I don't think he does. Psalms 37-4. Uh, and he included this note. Send me an SASC for a book, and I'll put my book, Touchdown Alexander. So I'll have to send him an envelope, and I'll throw in some money, I think, for a little donation. Uh, this came Thursday. This is actor Charles Robinson. I forget what he was in, but at the time I sent it, I didn't know what he did. <laughs> but this has been out for about three months, so I've forgotten since then. Uh, 
believe this guy is a World War II vet. Uh, don't take that word for word. Um, he's about 88 years old. Um, he signed the back, which is fine, because, I mean, these kind of were dark photos, so uh, he used what he had. Which I'm all right with him signing the back. Uh, John Colum, here's the front. And then he said, Dear Caleb, best of luck to you and all your endeavors. Sincerely, John Colum. Um, he also sent an index card. And then this is the other photo I sent. Um, it's from a Civil War. Or, yeah, I believe it was a Civil War movie. Can't remember. Caleb Craig with my best wishes, John Cole. So that's really good, nice of him to do that. He was in quite a few movies. Um, got a couple coming from England. Um, she was in the Merlin, so the Merlin TV series. So this is for my Merlin project. Um, she was only in a few episodes in the beginning. She was his first uh, villain, I guess. Uh, this is Michelle Ryan. And she included an extra as well. So that's from the second episode um, of season one um, and this is the extra she included not auto pen because the signatures are both different so and then I sent to Phil Collins on the same day came back the same day um, does the music for uh, Tarzan and Brother Bear and he's a pretty awesome musician I like a lot of his music and uh, he will. He doesn't sign photos that are sent in, but if you send him a self-addressed envelope and put stamps on it, he will send you back one of those. And as far as I know, um, doesn't look out of pen, but as far as I know, people say they're legit. So I'll have to look at other examples uh, and see. But I figure you know it was worth a shot to try and send. A couple more and we're done. Got an astronaut here, Lauren Acton. This came in today. He is right here. And then we got a closer shot of him. Lauren Acton. And then he just circled Philippians 4.13 said, uh, Great verse, keep on learning, learning Lauren. And finally, World War II TTM. Um, he, he didn't sign my card. Uh, he kept that. And he unfortunately did not sign this photo, but I'll still consider it a success because I did get it. You know something back from him. he sent a picture uh, he may not be able to sign I don't know um, private first class United States Marine Corps World War II veteran Joe Brunei sent this photo and it's not signed or anything but uh, it's still cool um, it's a screenshot from uh, YouTube it looks like so that was pretty cool so all in all pretty awesome day got some COMC stuff for Sunday for a collection video and some stuff for Victor and other people so hope you guys enjoyed I'm gonna get this video up for you and uh, talk to you hopefully tomorrow with some more TTMs bye